I feel something's controlling me, keeping me. Two years ago, Levere was among the first to speak publicly about the abuse, about how he would escape and run home, about how administrators would go after him, tell his parents he was acting up again, and take him back to the school. There were records of teachers reporting the abuse and records of people at the state level doing nothing about it. I may not be able to hear, but I can see what goes on. Last year, Levere told the Baxter School Board the betrayal by people he trusted was getting too painful to live with. But in this case, there is no doubt in the minds of those close to James Levere, this is what drove him to that parking lot. They say he knew that by dying, he would finally draw attention to this issue. A note he left on the door of his home makes it all clear. I'd rather die than suffering slave to the hearing world. I hope you will free my deaf children friends, etc. I go to war with lawmakers, fail to protect me and my rights, the end. No one close to Levere condoned the way he got his point across. They know some people will see him as a madman for bringing a gun to a crowded supermarket parking lot. But his family insists he did not go there to hurt anyone but himself. Whether these bills would have passed absent his death, we'll never know. But one thing we do know, when those shots were heard... So was James Levere. I know a lot of the deaf community is looking at my dad as a hero, but I wasn't prepared to have him make that sacrifice. And it's not okay with me.